Today I'm going to show you how to bulk schedule messages within a platform like Hootsuite. And the reason you might do this, and I'll share with you the exact project I'm working on here, you might have an opportunity to share content between uh, you, know, you and your friends or other business partners. In this case, there's an event coming up in our industry called IMEX America. And I've put together a program by which a few of my friends and I can share information about each other, share good information about the event uh, to our respective uh, communities and followers. So I will show you here what that, uh, what that document, what that spreadsheet currently looks like. And this is the format that you would need to use if you're going to bulk schedule messages of any kind. What you'll see here on the left is the first column will contain the date and the time in, in uh, this exact format here. You'll see date, month, year, and then time uh, with all of the digits there. And I believe these also need to be in increments of five minutes. So either uh, on the hour, 5, 10, 15, you get the idea. The second column is going to be the actual content of the message or the tweet. And then the third column is going to be the URL. Now you might notice here that I have already pre-shortened these URLs because the, uh, the Hootsuite, Hootsuite scheduler won't automatically shorten those links for you. So unless your message is already under 140 characters, including the link, it's going to give you an error message. So you'll have to pre-shorten the links if you're going to do any kind of bulk scheduling. And then what you'll do is you will delete the any any other information here. I've got uh, notes on who's going to post what messages specifically. But then what I've done is I've taken this content and I've sorted it according to each person so that each person will have their own uh, posting schedule. And that is what they're actually going to load into Hootsuite. So let's go back over to Hootsuite and I'll show you how that's done. So this is what your homepage typically looks like with all of your feeds. You're going to go over here on the left and click on this tab called Publisher. And that will bring up all of the tweets that you currently have scheduled. And then you'll see over here on the left there's a button called Schedule in Bulk. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going to choose the file that you want to use that has the messages that uh, you're scheduling. So first we're going to do the messages that are going to go to Twitter and LinkedIn. So I'm going to uh, choose that file that I already have, like I said, I already have that sorted and saved. And I'm going to choose my Twitter and my LinkedIn profiles here from this list of things I could potentially um, post to. And then I'm going to hit submit. Oops, it looks like I have an error message, and that's the good thing about this program is it's going to tell you if you have an error. It's telling me that one of my posts are too long. So I went ahead and uh, fixed that. I only took out one character, though, because I had already double-checked these to make sure they were under 140 characters. So I don't know if they're trying to allow for you know, other types of um, uh, issues. But anyway, I, I would suggest you make them under 135 characters. So this is telling me now it's fixed and I've successfully scheduled 20 messages. So I can do this same process now with the other messages I wanted to schedule. So on Facebook and Google, I have a different um, set of messages. Actually, it's the same content, but because I'm posting it on uh, Facebook and Google, I've taken out the hashtags and whatnot because those aren't necessary for these, for these platforms. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to schedule those as well. And then finally, the last one is the, um, the posts I want to put in the actual IMEX group. So I'm going to go here and um, pick. these aren't actually showing what the group name are, is. So that's clearly something that Ho Hootsuite needs to fix. I can't see which of these LinkedIn groups are actually uh, the group I'm looking for. So let's just close out this box and uh, hopefully the messages that we've scheduled will uh, show up here if I click on refresh. And there you have it. There are all of these messages that are scheduled.